thesmartlocal.com. on a very special Insta walk with MND. Together with our friends from HTV, we will be exploring Badok. Now you may not know this, but Badok used to be a quaint kampong way back in the days of Sir Stamford Raffles. But today, this bustling town is home for over 200,000 residents in over 60,000 flats. How crazy is that? Oh, by the way, today's a very special one because we have three special friends who will be joining us on this journey to make it a little bit more Insta-worthy. And they are... Jovin, Julian, and Yafik. Now, are you guys ready? Yes. Come on, let's go. Located in the heart of Badok, these sampan shaped markers carry information about the rich history of Badok. But if history is not your thing, you can also find out about how the town is being developed for the future. Theatre building has been here for 33 years and it's going to be transformed into a modern cineplex. Now you may be surprised that this brickwork building is actually a HDB branch office and all the Bedok residents can come over here for a variety of services. But that will not stop us from posing for an OOTD shop. Let's go! Center. This whole entire area is equipped with wheelchair friendly ramps, new benches, lighting, and also landscaping. Leader Green is one of the newer estates in Badok and it has a lot of modern amenities to meet the needs of every resident. And if you're ever here, you have to check out the community garden, which houses cute love birds as well as a variety of flora and fauna. No wonder this garden has won several awards. Besides being a great place to stay at, these HDB flats are very Instagrammable. From the hibiscus flower at Badok South Avenue 2 to these colourful flats at Badok North Road. Now these flats has attracted a lot of Instagrammers all over the island wanting to capture that little history in their pictures. We're taking a drone shot, check it out! Built in 1982, the Badok Sports Complex includes a swimming pool, a sports hall and a stadium. Now this just so happens to be the last stop of our Insta walk. But this place will not be around for much longer. It will be relocated to the Badok Integrated Complex which is set to be completed next year. So that's another thing that you should look out for. The walk is wrapping up right now and everyone is busy uploading their pictures for the Insta Challenge. Very soon we'll find out who took the best shot of the day. really enjoyable. I grew up in Badok quite a bit so I wanted to bring my really good friend to come and explore Badok with me. It was fun, it was definitely fun. I, I've actually been to places that I haven't gone to myself. I've been to Badok before just to explore too and then going back to all these old locations to revisit with more people around and do some creative stuff is always interesting. Yeah. yeah then for me personally having stayed in Badok for the past 10 years I've been to places I haven't been to before, so it's a very like, eye-opening experience. Like, really a very different experience, but I live in Bedo. Coming to all these new places, like the coloured HDBs was very fun and like um, a new experience. Yeah, I didn't know that there were a lot of nice facades here. Favourite spot? Mm. It has to be the colourful blocks. I really love the garden. It's like a mini zoo. It just feels like a very good place for people to like come and chill and connect. The coloured building, yeah, the rainbow buildings, yeah. Oh. I like the, the, the lines that you can get to see, like the buildings and everything, very nice. 
Well, I love the HDVs over here. They always have a very, they have very interesting designs, especially the facades of the building. Uh, it's quite exciting to be living in Bedok and especially in the east where they're doing a lot of developments. Mm. Yeah. From like what I've learned today, a lot of upgrading that they do, like installment of lifts in, on every level and extra railings and everything. I think it's a good way for us to network in terms of the, the, the community. Like without the TSL walk, we wouldn't know like these places have such pretty buildings. Or yeah, that. it's so true. Yeah. I stayed, I, I've stayed here in the east for so long and I didn't know the, I didn't know about like the hibiscus flats and everything, mm. yeah, so now I do. I would definitely recommend people to come for the, the Smart Local and so on. It's very informative, number one, and they've got really, really good photo spots. Come for every single one. We've come to the end of yet another TSL InstaWalk. Thank you so much MND and HTV for making all of this possible. Now, if you guys want to find out more information on when the next InstaWalk will be, make sure you follow MND Singapore and the Smart Local SG on Instagram. Until next time, bye! bye.